Well, we love spotlighting heroes every month through our News 2 Gives Back Hometown Hero Spotlight presented by Nashville Subaru. This month's hero is a Nashville nonprofit focused on helping active military veterans, first aid respond, first responders, and others with mental health challenges. Yes, as Sylvia Castaneda shows us, the woman behind this equine assisted therapy program is a Hollywood cover girl you may just recognize. Hey, handsome. Handsome. Major Wesley Inso of Fort Campbell is at nonprofit Hope and Healing at Hillinglade in Nashville. He's part of the Soldier Recovery Unit at the Post, participating in quarterly sessions of equine-assisted therapy to help with conditions ranging from post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, to depression. I was amazed with the, the things that I learned. First is uh, communication. I never thought that many of the things that you learn can translate to human relations. It also helped me relax, actually. It's very relaxing working with horses, and it definitely helped my anxiety and uh, depression. There's a lot of research about equine-assisted learning, equine-assisted therapy that really helps with mental health. I think I came out of my mom's womb uh, loving horses and um, showed them, bred them for 40 years. Hope and Healing at Hillinglade was founded in 2010 by famed model, actress, and author Jennifer O'Neill, who has starred in movies with legends like John Wayne, has graced the cover of fashion magazines to be in the face of CoverGirl Cosmetics for more than 30 years. The 75-year-old shift from Hollywood to Hillinglade came to her because of the love for someone special. They call them the ace. What came to mind was my dad, who was an absolute hero in World War II. Flew a B-17, uh, shot down on his second to last mission, was a in prison camp. She saw the need to help soldiers heal, so developed the equine assisted therapy curriculum, which she, staff, and volunteers now offer for free. Military, we've served over 4,000 first responders and military and their families. There's a huge trickle down effect of PTSD or being stressed from, from war. The whole family goes through the experience. He's licking his lips, he's looking at you. Yeah. Great job. Yeah, thanks. Great job. Thanks. We don't ride during this. This is all from the ground. A horse has 17 expressions in his face alone. And so a lot of times when people are uh, in transition or struggling with certain things, they don't know how they present themselves. But the horse is like a mirror, and they'll tell you how you're presenting yourselves. And it develops your relational skills that you can take to work at home. It changes your life. She's even incorporated art, asking participants to paint something that represents a care or blessing on, of all things, a donkey. That came from an American Indian uh, tradition where the, the warriors would paint uh, either a victory or a loss on their ponies. I painted uh, three hearts. Uh, that represents my three kids. Participants then wash the care or blessing away. It's very symbolic. It's like give it to God. Major Enzo's wife, Grace, is excited to see how her husband is healing. He is happier. He sings more, so... <laughs> And he smiles more, that's, then I think that's more important. Major Enzo's therapist, Laura Williams, also sees a change in soldiers. It just really helps bring anxiety down when you start building that trust with the animal. Jennifer is able to offer the program for free because Hill and Glade is also an event space, hosting things like corporate retreats to weddings as there's a chapel on site plus suites to stay in. There's even a recording studio, another revenue source. So those who find their hope again from the free equine assisted therapy are grateful. I would like to thank this organization. It is a great organization. I, I wish that I can uh, continue forever because it's definitely very uh, therapeutic. She's my hero. Their program is awesome. I mean, I'm just such an advocate for the for the equine therapy and what that brings to people. It's a mission Jennifer plans to continue to grow. I love them. I love the horses and I love people that sacrifice so much for our freedoms. 
So we honor hope and healing at Hill and Glade as our News 2 gives back hometown hero for the month of July. Presented by Nashville Subaru for its equine assisted therapy program, which has served more than 4,000 active military, veterans, first responders, and their families, among others. If you'd like to donate to the nonprofit Hope and Healing at Hill and Glade, volunteer or book an event at the property to support its mission, visit hillandglade.org. Wow, beautiful, so powerful. And Jennifer plans to take hope and healing at Hill and Glade nationwide by training others to conduct the equine assisted therapy program. And guess what? She's starting right here at home, working with someone connected to Nashville Rescue Mission so equine assisted therapy can be offered to the homeless. Gosh, I really love it. incredible. Whew. Well, time now to